Guatemala's Fuego volcano has erupted, spewing out smoke and ash, forcing the widespread evacuation of thousands of Guatemalans who are living in the shadow of the Malcef volcano. With little time to prepare for the sudden evacuation, Red Cross officials and volunteers were called in to help the terrified families settle into temporary shelter at a local school in the Santa Lucia region. This Red Cross volunteer explained how many people there were at the centre. She said, at the moment we have accounted for 304 people. We have 97 boys, 93 girls, 95 women and 19 men. Amongst them are five pregnant women and four people with disabilities. One person who is not self-mobile and arrived in a plastic chair because they did not have a wheelchair and that is what is worrying us most of all. According to authorities, some 8,000 people have been evacuated and an additional 23,000 are awaiting evacuation in towns which are surrounding the massive volcano. Now, this is the second big eruption in the last two years for the country, which follows the eruption of Pacaya in 2010, which is one of Guatemala's most four active volcanoes. It then covered Guatemala City with a layer of ash, closing the airport and forcing the evacuation of hundreds of families. We're continuing to receive reports on this volcano story, so stay tuned with me and Salter at ibtimes.co.uk for the very latest news and updates.